In the north of Italy, there are three great lakes. In the east, Lake Garda. Continuing west, there are two. Lake Como, surrounded by reputation and mountains. But perhaps the greatest, and certainly the longest of all, is Lake Maggiore. Home to nobles, this was and is the place for quiet relaxation and elegance. With the beautiful botanical gardens, golf courses, and surrounded by jewels of noble villas. Today we see a real gem, Villa Bella. Oh, here we are on top of the hill overlooking beautiful Streza on Lago Maggiore, the really most noble, uh, most exclusive, most prestigious area uh, here at Lago Maggiore. And we have a very special house to see. Andiamo. Villa Bella is located above Streza at Lago Maggiore, just 50 minutes from the Milan Malpensa Airport. The house is over here. Let's go take a look. Oh, this is Casa Felice. And it makes me happy to see it. It's for the kids and the grandkids on this beautiful family compound here overlooking Lago Maggiore. Casa Felice is just part of Villa Bella. <laughs> yes, the Villa Bella. It's been here for over 100 years, built in 1923 originally for the Avocato Grassi. It's had a few owners over the years, including the Marchese Pica Alfieri. But it's been in the same family for many, many years, and they've lovingly kept it, restored it. It's a jewel inside, I have to say. Something where you feel like you're going into another time. But another time, certainly, with all this beautiful park outside, place to stay during the summer, during the spring, during the autumn. In fact, at Lago Maggiore, it's a very special climate here. So the spring and the autumn are very special times here. And it's been also studied, you can put a pool right here in front. Let's begin our tour of the Villa Bella. The beautiful stone on the porch and throughout the house is the legendary pink granite of Baveno, Lago Maggiore very inviting, very relaxing. From this exquisite veranda, let's take a look inside. We'll go into the entrance hall, the foyer, if you will, uh, where you have access to all parts of the house. There's the dining area, which used to be the original Solotto, and there's this beautiful staircase made from the pink granite from Bavano, ascends to the rest of the house, another floor with a sleeping area, and another floor above that with some extra bedrooms and a study. Uh, behind me, we have the kitchen area with the guest bathroom, but let's go take a look at the living room. The house is filled with these beautiful herringbone oak floors, all original throughout the whole house. It's really, the details that they have kept lovingly in this house, like all of the doors, all of the windows, all original from 1920. <laughs> oh, this house, has such a good warm feeling, all these details, but also modern. It makes me want to sit and read. The original Soloto is now a small dining area. And here, this is a, an original detail, the chandelier from 1920. Oh, and the guest book. I guess I'll need to find a pen to sign. Let's go look. And there is nothing like a warm and inviting kitchen. Let's go look at the Zona Note upstairs. Uh, here we are in the Zona Note, the first floor, uh, right above the ground floor. And there are three really gorgeous, well-detailed bedrooms and three bathrooms.
Uh, there's always a beautiful view here. Let's go take a look at the view upstairs, more bedrooms and a study. Ah, here we are at the top of the turret. There's a few spare bedrooms here in the Mansard area, but a gorgeous room. The, the study with the original fireplace. As you can see, we've been chopping wood back here to keep that house warm. Uh, come on back in the backyard though, because it's a, it's a really very long, a great place for the family, a great place to play. Oh, <laughs> look, look who's here. Maybe you've seen him in some shots. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. That's Baloo, and Baloo's been with us all day. So you might've seen him in some shots. Come on, buddy, come on. Let's go look in the backyard. Oh, there's plenty of parking here, but underneath, there's a man cave. Come on. Oh yeah, baby. This is the man cave. <laughs> and down here in the man cave, it has just the right temperature to keep all your precious wines. This house was originally known as Casa Pica Altieri, after the Marchese Pica Altieri. But all the neighbors, when they walked by, would say, Villa Bella, beautiful house. And as you see, it is indeed a beautiful house. Thank you for joining us here today. Please subscribe, like, comment, and we'll see you next time at Sant'Andrea Top Properties. Sant'Andrea Luxury Houses and Top Properties The Italian Style of Luxury